According to the internet, phlox flowers are a symbol of harmonious relationships and union of hearts. Therefore, a gift of phlox flowers could indicate a marriage proposal. With that in mind, this witch is an expert at love potions and finding compatible souls. What do you think? The gladiolus flower is a symbol of honor, persistence, strength, faithfulness, integrity and strong moral values. They can also represent remembrance, but also deep admiration in both a romantic and platonic way. Because of that, I decided to give this witch some scars from battles of the past, and I imagine her powers include magic weapons and shields to help her fight for justice. What do you think about her? Hydrangeas can symbolize a lot of things, depending on their color. Blue hydrangeas represent feelings of remorse, red and pink represent romance, purple represents understanding, white represents vanity, and green represents prosperity. For the most, they are symbolic of deep and honest emotions. Because of that, I think this witch's signature power will be a truth spell or potion. Do you like the results? Narcissus flowers symbolize new beginnings, rebirth, self-love, admiration and respect. With those ideas in mind, I made this September flower witch have the power of healing and giving life to inanimate objects. Do you like this concept? Sunflowers are often associated with positivity, happiness and optimism because they are always facing the sun. Because of their association with the sun, I think this witch would have light powers. Doesn't she look happy? Dahlia flowers signify finding inner strength, which roots back to the plant's ability to withstand harsh conditions, but also remaining graceful and standing out from the crowd. Because of that, this witch is strong and agile and makes potions that explode in beautiful colors. What do you think? Pansies represent the thoughts of lovers before a word is spoken. Because of the origin of the word, it's also said to be a charmed flower, possessing telepathic magic. It's also a very discreet flower, so I took those ideas to the September Witch that has telepathic abilities. What do you think? Forget-me-not symbolize true love and respect. They are also considered a symbol of fidelity and faithfulness. Because of that, I think this witch should have powers to restore memories and even turn them into physical representations. Do you like her? In the language of flowers, Nemesia carries the symbolic meanings of friendship and justice. To try to incorporate both those concepts into this witch, I thought of giving her a calm but strong energy and making her able to read someone's intentions. That makes her great at avoiding and stopping conflict, but also at seeing which people would be great friends. What do you think? These flowers' meanings are peace, perseverance, and calmness. Sending someone stone crop is a wonderful way to tell them to stay strong during tough times. Because of that, I think this witch should have healing and calming powers. What do you think? Symbol specialists have long associated the black-eyed Susan with justice. They inspire both motivation and positive change. Besides that, yellow flowers usually mean friendship. With that in mind, I give this flower each happiness and truth potions. Do you like her? Chrysanthemum generally symbolizes longevity, fidelity, joy and optimism, but they will vary depending on the color. Since the flower blooms in the fall, the chrysanthemum signifies joy and beauty despite the oncoming winter. With those informations, I decided to give this witch a face mask to protect from the cold and her powers would be wind control. How do you think she turned out? Fuchsia flowers have represented various sentiments throughout history. Some of these include deep love, grace, trust and healing. So I decided to give this flower witch healing powers. Do you like her? The snapdragon flower holds various meanings in symbolism, but some of the most commons include graciousness, elegance, deception, mystery and magic. In some contexts, snapdragon's meaning relates to hiding one's true intentions or feelings. I decided to create this witch with shape-shifting abilities and also mind control powers. Do you like her? The Nerine flower expresses what is often left unsaid, bridging the gap between heart and mind. Because of that, I decided to give this witch hypnotic powers, making people say the truth. What do you think? Alyssum means worth beyond beauty or sweetness of soul. It is also claimed to deflect unfriendly spells. A silum can also help the wearer cultivate calmness and avoid anger. So I just gave this witch those powers, she can make protection spells and is a very sweet person. What do you think? 
The primary and emoni flower meaning is anticipation, but it's also a symbol for relaxation. It can also signify fragility. Because of that, I think this witch would have visionary powers so that she can predict what happens and therefore be able to protect herself for any incoming danger. What do you think of the last September flower witch?